Okay, hello everyone. In the last video lecture, we covered the explanation of trans function and also we covered the rules related with block diagram reduction. We also explained the procedure to solve the block diagram reduction problems also. In this video lecture, I will revise it. As well as in this video lecture, we are going to solve some problem related with block diagram reduction. Then let's revise the procedure. What are the steps? Step number one, we need to reduce the block connected in series. Step number two, reduce the block connected in parallel. Over here, we can reverse also. We can use step number two first and step number one. It will not affect on the procedure of solving the block diagram. Any one rule we can use first. They are not thumb rule. We need to use for series only. We can use parallel also. After that, we can use series. Step number three, reduce the minor internal feedback loop. Step number four, as far as possible, try to shift takeoff point towards right and summing point towards left by which we can convert the block diagram into minor internal feedback and we can apply the rule step number three. And unless and until it is not, it is required of problem, do not use the rule number nine and 10. Whatever I explained in the last video lecture, rule number nine and 10 don't use. If it is not required, if requirement at that time, we need to use anyhow rule number nine and 10. Step number five, repeat one to four till we get the simple form. And using the standard trans function of simple co closed loop system, obtain the closed loop trans function CS by RS of an overall system. That procedure we need to follow while solving the block diagram reduction problem. Let's start with the first problem. This problem is given. If you see this problem carefully, we can get over here a parallel system. Two blocks are parallel, they are connected in a summing point. Now, if you if you just go through this rule, whatever rule number three explained, if blocks are parallel that time. We need to add this block and convert it to single block as per their sign positive, positive, negative. Then G3 is positive, G2 is positive, and G1 is negative over here. The same rule will, will apply here. And as here we can see both are positive, then we can remove this block, all these three blocks, and then convert one rectangle in which G2 plus G3 we can write it out. The same thing I did over here, G2 plus G3. After that, if you see over here, these two blocks are in series and as per the rule, when the blocks are series, that time we need to multiply directly. If G1, G2, G3 are series, then directly we can write down G1, G2, G3. This is the rule. We are applying the same here for G1 and G4. They are in series. If you multiply, we are getting G1 and G4. Then we reduce the two blocks also. Now, if you just observe the carefully over here, this is look like a one minor feedback loop. And the rule for minor feedback loop is nothing but when the G1, G dash one function is there and H dash any feedback is there, they are connected with the sign of minus plus actually here minus plus is there not plus minus listen carefully. Here sign is minus plus that time we are getting the answer as G dash upon one plus minus G dash S dash. Both the signs should not be same because of that I'm getting minus plus here. If here minus plus is there, then and only here I'm getting the plus minus this all already explained in the derivation in the last video lecture just go through the previous video lecture then you come to know that why i'm saying here if you have minus plus then here plus minus should be there like this we do we need to apply the rule that means whatever the block is there in uh, first part over here the, we need to write down same as it is divided by one a plus sign is there here we need to write down minus sign if minus sign is there we need to write a plus sign and we need to multiply the block the rock in denominator like this we need to apply the rule the same thing we will do over here g1 g4 we will write down numerator divided by as here plus sign is there, we will write 1 minus h1 g1 g4. The same thing I did over here g1 g4 1 minus g1 g4 h1 as per the rule, whatever the rule I explained. Now these two blocks are in series and already we discussed when the two blocks are in series, that time we need to multiply. If you multiply these two blocks, we are getting g1 g4 bracket g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1. Now over here at the last, we are getting some feedback loop over here. And for the feedback loop, again, we are applying the same rule, whatever the rule I explained, g dash upon one plus minus g dash as dash. By applying this rule, we are getting this block in numerator divided by one. As here minus sign is there, we need to write the plus sign g1, g4, g2, g1, g3 divided by one minus g1, g4, h1 multiplied by this feedback that is h2 that we need to multiply. Now, if you simplify this block, we are getting the final answer as a trans function CS upon RS as a g1, g4 bracket g2 plus g3 divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 plus g1 g4 bracket g2 plus g3 h2. There is a we reduce the block diagram of the given solution. This is our first problem. Uh, let's try the second problem. Uh, my suggestion is that just pause this video and try to solve your own this video and get the simplified form. 
and afterward again come back to this video and check the solution if you are getting the same answer then we can say you are getting concept of block diagram reduction okay i hope everyone is tried and uh, they are getting the solution let's cross check whether you are getting the same solution or not for the this block diagram if you just uh, see carefully over here i don't think so I'm, we are not getting any kind of series as well as any kind of parallel block over here to simplify it but if you just uh, see carefully over here now in this block diagram if i shift this take up point over here if i shift the take up point over here this take up point on this side the same thing is changing from dotted block that time this g1 and g2 will be series and i can apply the rule number one i can shift the take up point already explained this rule shifting the take up point beyond the block if you want to shift the take up point beyond the block that time on this take up point i need to add this function reciprocal over here on this take up point the same thing we will do in, doing over here if i want to shift over here i need to add g1 by g2 over here that means i need to write down instead of g3 over here i need to write down g3 by g2 the same rule is explaining over here if i want to shift this take up point over here reciprocal of this function i need to add on this take up point then if i'm shifting this take up point then i'm shifting means i'm jumping on g2 if you are jumping on g2 then on this block we need to add on this line we need to add reciprocal of g2 that is 1 by g2 and if i multiply 1 by g2 with g3 i'm getting g3 by g2 the same thing i'm getting g3 by g2 i'm shifting the take up point and i'm adding this one reciprocal of this 1 by g3 g2 i'm getting g3 by g2 now if you see over here carefully on this block diagram the same i'm getting over here if you see over here carefully then these are in series over here and if i apply the series rule for g1 and g2 over here i'm getting g1 g2 they multiplied now just uh, see i'm getting the two minor feedback one first minor feedback over here second minor feedback is over here and these are uh, these are not in sorry feedback my mistake these are blocking parallel and if this the this uh, well uh, blocks are in parallel we need to apply the parallel law and here we need to use the minor feedback whatever i explained then i'm getting g1 g2 over here g1 g2 is numerator divided by as a minus sign is i'm getting the plus sign 1 plus g1 g2 h2 and sorry as these are in parallel we need to add it 1 plus g2 g3 and here same block i am getting over here now these three blocks are in series then we need to multiply all these three block and i am getting the final as a this function with unit feedback and now i am using the minor unit feedback now we apply the unit feedback rule whatever i explained in the previously then finally i am getting the answer cs upon rs is equal to g1 g4 bracket g2 plus g3 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 plus g4 h1 plus g1 g2 g4 h1 h2 plus g1 g4 bracket g2 plus g3 after simplifying just try your own and just get the same answer this is the solution of second block diagram i hope you got the uh, how to use the rules of block diagram reduction and procedure for any block diagram now you try your own for the various other uh, block diagrams uh, which is giving some reference book and uh, try to identify the solution of various block diagrams for this video lecture that much thank you thank you very much see you soon bye bye take care